Welcome to this overview video of uh, i3. We are actually now working on a Arca Linux D 6.9.2, so July 2018. And um, this is i3, and it's just an, a check and an overview to show you guys, hey, what is this thing? So we have a wall wallpaper that works for us. Alt N is going to give us another wallpaper, Alt N as well. Alt T to trash the thing and Alt T to trash it again. Alt P for previous and previous. So let's stick with this car. We have um, a system info conky that's, um, well, not normal in an i3 or in any tiling, uh, window tiling manager. But it's there, of course, to help you um, once you install an Arch Linux vanilla installation i3 you'll know and you will appreciate uh, the help you we, we give you because when you add, come into i3 then you don't see any help you don't know what to press it and the keyboard shortcuts the key bindings are not there so super shift d super shift d is where you go and look for your applications so firefox is one possibility alt f2 is another where you type again firefox and okay you get the drift escape and Alt F3 is really for um, the guys coming from XFCE. This is XFCE. This is everything you could ever want uh, to, to run, to install, not, but to, to run. So this is the overview of any application that you can, uh, if you say for instance Bleach Pit, that you didn't know what the word was again, you found it again, Super Shift D, and you can again start typing. But if you can't know, if you don't know the name, that's why it's there, Alt F3. Super Enter is, um, uh, well, it, why, why is this thing looking like it is? Because it's a tiling window manager. So, oh, that's my mistake. This is actually coming from my host, which is an Arch Linux B Plasma. So, out of here. Don't come near. So, um, again, Super Return. This tiles the things next to each other. You don't need to drag and drop and tile again. It's it's all tiled in three parts at this time and getting rid of one is super shift Q. And everything is here explained, quit here, stop application, super shift Q, super shift E, super shift E, and then you exit. So restart is there as well. Settings are control alt M and you'll recognize immediately that this is actually a um, XFCE panel to set your system which is okay right and then we can um, add uh, more elements like control alt you won't go over everything but everything has a shortcut and where do you find these shortcuts where where, where can i know what what how does it tick how does it work i3 in the dot config you'll find a i3 folder and it's this one that's the heart of your system all the rest is also interesting but the config file is the one you need to really read. And lots of information is in here. It is a config file that I've been carrying around, around from distro to distro. So Antergos, uh, Arch Linux, Linux Mint, Ubuntu, Solus, anything that has the possibility to install i3, you can put this config in there, right? All you need to check is, is do I have all the software installed to run it. Let's go for instance for a control find and then Firefox. We've been using Firefox as example. And the first thing is an assignment. You can assign Firefox to a specific space. If you want to open it only at number one, so we see here number one, workspace one, workspace four. If you want to assign, which is a hashtag in front of it, means it's not applied. But if you want to apply it, you delete the hashtag. So here it is, Control mod one f so Control alt f what does happen when you press that? It launches Firefox. Vivaldi is Control alt f uh, v sorry, ng for Chromium and so on, so Google, right, Chromium. And uh, so many other shortcuts like mod f3, super f3, and then you launch your Inkscape. Quit it again. So lots of things are happening. It's all keyboard driven. There is no menu up here anywhere. Um, it's not supposed to be. So uh, it's it's in here. Everything you're gonna need 
but remember if you're old school old f3 is there always to help you there's also f um, super f12 that's another menu you can try out firefox there it is and there's a big one as well super f11 that's the big one full screen so lots of possibilities to move around but basically i'm telling you to read this file and um, there is this wally -E thing here python pywall and that's a nice little thing you can uh, experiment with that let's maybe end with that as an example uh, super f5 is not my intention so it's another application it's melt let's kill everything and um, let's do this oh, i did it again get out of here so like this and then we say for instance alt shift u and as you can see this is what pywall does to your system so it's going to recolor your elements uh, depending if you have installed pipes which i probably have not installed it so there is an, uh, a fun script on there on the arco linux d dot com or there is also a link to it in arcolinux.info a fun script that installs actually trizen python bash pipes it's always nice to see uh, i think it's called like this but you need don't need to know the complete name and if i'm wrong which i am so bash pipes just like that then and you'll find it so it's just without the python it will be named later like that oops my password sharing it with you guys here it is and then um, we have this pipes yep it's pipes so you see it changes also with colors and if we do alt alt shift n we have a next wallpaper and everything changes again and alt shift n everything is now blackish black kind of thing it all depends of course on the beauty or the ugliness of the wallpaper behind it and then this script is going to take some colors from it and make it um, look awesome or not all right so i3 is super is interesting there is another possibility is bspwm which is also a beautiful a tiling window manager and our third one is awesome they're all available on arclinuxd.com um, in version as um, we uh, i mean you can start with the arclinux d iso or you can build it yourself arclinux b iso it's up to you there are three big projects and you check it out on arclinux.info cheers